Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk all things canvas. In case you're new here, my name is Lauren and I am the canvas queen. I'm so excited today to be posting again. It has been a little bit since I've posted because I've been just creating so many canvas related things. So stay tuned for that. I'm starting like a new series on Google and Canvas. So this first video uh, today that you'll be viewing is all about embedding Google documents. So whether that be docs, slides, forms, you name it. So that way, if you're trying to transition from Google Classroom to Canvas, you can reuse the content in Google that you already have. So it makes your life a little bit easier. One thing I wanna add before we get into the video is that I have started a newsletter that I will link in the description below. This newsletter will have weekly updates on new tips and tricks. I'll give you direct access when I post a new video and so much more. And so if you wanna subscribe to that newsletter, link is in the description below. All right, let's get started. So the first way I'm going to show you how you can incorporate Google into Canvas is through the process of embedding. So we're going to embed documents into Canvas pages here. So each one of these is a different page. You can also do this with an assignment. You can do this with discussion boards. Anything that has a rich content editor you can embed Google Documents into. So I've created this module and we're just going to get started with Google Docs. So we'll click here and you'll see that it is completely blank and we're going to click edit. So now that it's loaded, we have the title here and then everything you see here in this box where you can type in all of these tools, this is called the rich content editor. And there's this awesome little tool right here. Let me zoom in and it looks like a cloud. <laughs> and so if I click on this cloud, what happens is, is this window will pop up to embed any type of um, doc Google document, or you can even embed videos, but I'm gonna stick with obviously Google documents today. So we need to go find this code in our Google Docs. So I'm gonna click close for now. We're going to go to the Google document that I have, and I need to go to file, share, and we need to publish this to the web. So then you'll see, oh, we have a link, and then also we have this embedded code. So I am going to copy this entire code here, and then we're going to go back to Canvas, click on our little cloud button, and select paste. And then it will load up this document now, as you can see, when I scroll down and I click save, for whatever reason, mine is creating this itty bitty tiny window, and I do not like that. So what I'm going to do is click edit, and we're going to click on over here, this sign. This is now the HTML editor. Now, before you freak out and go, oh my gosh, code, <laughs> don't worry. It's just so we can adjust the frame or the window. So I'm just gonna click right here. I'm gonna zoom in so we, you guys can get a better look. So it says iframe. What I want you to type in is style equals, we're going to do width, and then a hundred, actually let's do, because a hundred percent is great, but it doesn't always look good. So we'll just do like 95% width, and then we'll do a height of, let's say, we're gonna actually make this pixels. We'll do 900 pixels, and then just for fun, margin, and now I'm cutting off over here, so I'll move over. Uh, um, auto, just like that. So I'll zoom out just a little bit. This is exactly what you should write down to make it appear better. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click save. And now you can see I have access to view the entire 
document here, which is awesome. So this is great if you have like directions already made and you need students to view, or let's say, for example, you have like a Google Doc agenda that you wanna alter in Google and then never have to like alter anything in Canvas again, you can do that. And then students can come here and view all of the content that you've written here. I actually like to even select this whole thing and I will move it to the center just because that is the design person in me. And I'll even, if I don't like, see, I don't really like the 95% because it doesn't fit the document well. So I'll even play around with the width percent a little bit until I'm like, oh, I like that. But everybody's different. So, and I, I do actually 80% for my display does look nice and remember you'll have to remember that too is not every display is the same so there there i have my document that's just the first way for google docs now let's move on to google slides all right so now we are going to embed a google slide i feel like this is very important for teachers if you want to reuse any of your um, written slide decks in google let's click edit here and the rich content editor is gonna load. So the steps are pretty much the same as the Google Doc. We're gonna go now instead though to our Google Slides. We're going to click File, Share, Publish to the Web, Embed. And so now actually this will provide me with dimensions, which is great because Google Doc doesn't really do that. We had to do that through the HTML editor. Um, so I'm just gonna click Medium for now. Click Publish and copy. So now when I go back to Google here, I go again to my little cloud, going to paste that code, and here we are. We have our awesome slide deck, and I can center it also. Click save, and then students can scroll through the document. Now, it is important to note, students can't edit this. If students are using a Google account, it will create a copy once they view it in their drive. But again, this is mostly for visuals, not really so much for editing. And what is nice if you want is you can create links. Let's go back real quick for a second and I'll show you how to do that. So I'll just add a link to YouTube. So we're going to insert link and then youtube.com. We'll just do that as an example. So now when I go back, you'll see it's not there. I have to refresh the page and now the link is there. So when I click it, it will take me to youtube.com. Simple as that. So that's one of the reasons why I think embedding is just so nice is because if you want to do like an agenda link to different Canvas assignments for that day, you can do that. It's just like a really nice thing to put on maybe like a homepage or the beginning of a module to give students a guide. And then even an assignment to give them access to links like this is really fun. And that way too, you're editing more so in Google and less in Canvas. The last type of embedding for Google we can do in Canvas for us K-12 educators is forms. So if you have quizzes in Google that are already created and you're like, I don't even wanna touch Canvas quizzes right now, you don't have to, you can just use a form. You can also use them at the end of a module for student surveys, there's so many purposes. So all we have to do is very similar steps. We click edit, we have our rich content editor up ready to go. I'm going to go to my form, we're going to click send and we have you know, the message, we have a link, and then we have our embedded code. So all I have to do is copy this. You can see here, it does have the dimensions. I can alter these here, or I can alter them in Canvas. I'm just gonna leave them as is. We're going to copy, go back, find our cloud, and paste the code in, and submit. And just like that, we have our Google form embedded into the page for students to fill out. So another thing I can do again too, if I don't like it there, I can always center it. I like to center things. 
um, and then we click save and then students of course will be able to fill out this form in canvas which is great I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you learned something from it and that embedding Google Documents is just something that's really easy for you to do. The next video I'm going to show you how to link or really create hyperlinks of Google Documents in Canvas. It is one way that I really love to create assignments because again, it cut down that creation time and allows you to reuse the Google tools that you already have, the Google content. So stay tuned for that. As always, if you ever have any questions, you can leave a comment below. I'm pretty good about responding. And then also message me directly on any of my social media pages. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one.